Hello everyone and welcome back to Tell Me Why. I think I gotta be getting close to the end of this. But anyways, let's figure out what's in this box. Here, the secret keeper, hiding secrets in the clouds. Gold lady stays locked up in her castle. Back in your pond, big frog. There you go, stalwart moose. Uh-oh. I didn't get all the things. That's the pious pelican spot. Crafty goblins go here. The moon hag's got to be imprisoned in her lake. The wise princess goes in the big wooden house, of course. The mad hunter, always on the princess's trail. I feel like I'm missing some. Oh, great. Why are these pictures from the Book of Goblins here? I, I don't know. Okay, so... So it's L... E... O. Leo? Alright, should be easy enough. <laughs> yes! Oh man. Did it just get darker in here? Holly, she, uh, she noticed. Dear Alice and Ollie, I was her son. Stories to understand and be understood. But what good is a story without a first act? I'm sorry I kept mine from you so long uh all my love goblins why does she have a photo of that tree locked in here is that leo ronan why didn't she tell us about him why didn't she tell us any of this I mean, it's fucking terrible. That's why. Allie, did we do the right thing opening this? We did. It's better we know what happened, even... even if it's hard. And it was there's one more thing we need to see. Are you sure? Yes. Come on. Let's go to the dock. It's time to finish this. The crafty goblin's loot. That's from the princess and the two thieves. I drew the original. And I distinctly remember drawing okay. that cake. Okay, which so. is arguably the best part of the old bear's gifts for the princess. I'm totally blanking on that story. What did he give her again? Why don't we... Open up the book and check. The old bears. I promise I won't eat you. <sighs> I'm 
sorry, said the princess. I will never marry you. <sighs> See? Fresh caught salmon? Actually, I'm not sure. Some honey? Or not? Some roses, maybe? Maybe not. Hazelnuts? Actually, I'm not sure. A newly bloomed bluebell? Maybe not. A newly bloomed bluebell? Uh. Or not. A handful of ripe berries? Actually, I'm not sure. Some honey? Okay. Oh my goodness, okay. Little bear. Mm, snapped, uh, snapped at the base tree. Okay. When he saw the princess, he was struck by her beauty. With a gray war, he heaved onto his legs. Bear roared onto the tree. Fell down. Prince regards. How do I know you just. You didn't just save me so you can eat yourself? Question with the bear, but I promise I will not eat you. Old bear, except the eyes, slowly made her up the tree. When she reached the ground, the bear only watched her. Thank you. Uh, da -da, home. Forest, big wooden house. After the day, princess occasionally found gifts of a bear a fresh caught fish, salmon, berries, a bluebell. So, or not, a newly bloomed bluebell, huh. fresh caught salmon, maybe I'm not. I'm at the corner, right? A newly bloomed bluebell, a handful of ripe berries. Nice, man. He had it bad. Just couldn't let go. Well, we already we already knew Sam. The crafty goblin's loot. That's from the princess and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, I hear. The two thieves. I drew the original. And I distinctly remember drawing that cake, which is arguably the best part of that illustration. All right, Picasso. Then you probably remember what the goblins stole and... Uh, no. I don't. Um, ba ba ba. See. That's strange. Um, the cake with every egg. Talk about crying, but maybe she knew that the force okay. Okay, one winter's day, the vice princess realized that food was disappearing from her house. Not much. First. Fruits, nuts, eggs. That story, huh? Uh, fruits. Maybe they took some of the princess's fruit. Is that nuts? Some flour for the cake, maybe? 
no, 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 no. Maybe not. Fruits. That's candy. Did they steal candy? Or not? I'm pretty sure they stole some eggs. It said nuts, right? Spoons, plates. Fruits and nuts and eggs. Spoons. What if they took some spoons? That's it. I always wondered where that drawing went. She said it was her favorite, and then one day it just disappeared. Hey, now that we're done with the important stuff, maybe we can take a crack at these? The very old beaver's repair list. That's the story where the princess's house gets damaged by a storm and the animals help her fix it. Yeah. What did they do to fix it again? <gasps> it's one of the first ones, wasn't it? Ah, here we go. What will I do? Okay. Um, trouble the storm. When he found her planks. Plank. So what? Planks. Um, when the pair were done, so roof and walls, roof, walls, post, roof, huh, she fixed the roof shingles, walls, she fixed the planks that were blown off the walls, post, she slapped the post with, all right, damn, that must have been rough on Eddie. Yeah, he, um, uh, he doesn't really like to talk about her. Oops. The crafty goblin's good deeds. Of course. The goblins had to help out the creatures of the forest to pay off their debt to the pelican. Uh, well, what did they do? You know, I don't really remember. Let's see. But. <laughs> So wait. Right. Crafty goblins good deeds. Okay. Here we go. Wait, so wait, is it different stories? So, Bear and the Princess. Well, 
Once upon a time. Uh. Um. He broke open the beehive for the bear. Or not. They helped fix the beaver dam. Actually, I'm not sure. Huh. They had to give nuts to the muskrat. Maybe not. They removed a thorn from the frog's back. They gave the stalwart moose a good scratch on the back. Wait. Wait. But, okay. The princess makes... Um... Okay, Old Bear was out looking for a snack. Um, and finally managed to score them off. The bear heard some laugh and a crafty gap to the bear. They sped off, leaving her, her body. Okay. Sure enough, the tiny mountain goat was trapped. Duh. You aren't a simply a bear, and your powers are good for helping others. The old bear forgave the goblins because. He doubted the old bear proved just as much, and though um, Okay. They hugged the princess when she was crying. Or not. Your crafty goblins do good deeds. I don't think there is one that... Um, okay. Once upon a time... Okay. That no one lives comes to have ice can be kept warm. Cake tolerated their mischief. Okay. See, it shows this picture. Where is it? This picture, right? But... 
Um. Until the day of the star that was taught them to fish. What the heck? Is it that story? Once upon a time, we caught a goblin big house. They lived with the prisoners who shared the food and they were quiet. They slept. Goblin Saga were very hungry, always hungry. One day, they were fresh. Uh, crabs, pink, shelled. They washed, okay. The goblins scarfed the crab, but so hungry. Uh Hmm They gave the stalwart moose a good scratch on the back. Huh. They had to give nuts to the muskrat. They broke open the beehive for the bear. They helped fix the beaver dam. They removed a thorn from the frog's back. They hugged the princess when she was crying. Oops, no, no. The crafty goblins' good deeds. Of course. The goblins had to help out the creatures of the forest to pay off their debt to the pelican. Uh, well, what did they do? You know, I don't really remember. Okay, so it was about the pelican. Ugh. Okay. Um. Goblin scarf. Da, 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 said the goblins scarf. That's the scallops. Okay, also, then, just then the person woke up and said, What happened to my food? She asked. Unable to lie, the goblins confess their crime. Pelican dismissed. Uh, goblins said the pelican, "I will share my food with you, but you must, in return, follow example to others. Take that heart, okay, but nothing give." Said the goblin, "You have your nimble hands or crafty brains. How much they give? Okay, of course. They found the moose struggling to itch. So the moose on the back." Um, moose, bear, princess, moose, bear, princess, or not, they broke no. open the beehive for the, or not, wait. Damn it, they stop! Fix the beaver dam. Wait. Wait. Or not. Moose? Maybe not. Bear. They broke open princess. the beehive for the bear. They hugged the princess when she was crying. Nailed it. Our lives would have been so different if their friendship hadn't gone to shit. Oops. All right. You really want to go? You sure we've seen everything? I mean... I guess we could stay a little longer if you think there's more to find. Obviously, I was... I missed, like, three items. Four. Oh, man. Who would have known... They would have been a little bit more. You know what? You really want to go? Yeah, we don't you have sure anything else. You sure we've seen everything? 
Either way, I'm ready for this to be over. Me too. I don't... I don't have the other statues. Sorry, guys. What are we waiting for? I want to know who was here that night. I still think it's Eddie, but Let's I... Let's try and remember who Marianne was arguing with. Probably wrong. Let's find out. Almost. No? Oh my god! Tom? Tom Vecchi is our father? Of course. It had to be him. Tessa knew, didn't she? Yeah, she, she must have. That's what she didn't want to tell us. God, Marianne That's and Tom? Worse. I know. Ugh. What should we do now? Yeah, call him out here and make him tell us what was going on. And if he won't? We know his secret. He will. Tom? It's Allison. We need to talk. We know it was you. Okay. Shit. I fucking completely wrong. That shit caught me completely off guard. Which makes me think do pe does everyone know? And that's why everyone fucking asks. Let me take the lead on this. I know him better. I thought I did. Sure. Whatever. As long as we get answers. Oh my god. This is... Acting like there's not care in the world and you were here... Yelling at the mom. Kids, listen. You're our father. <sighs> yes. You knew how bad it got out here. How little we had. Why didn't you help Marianne? You mean all the money she wanted? We didn't have anything to spare. Well, that winter was rough on everyone. It, you would have starved out here if not for all the free food we gave you. Don't act like you had anything to do with that. That was all Tessa. That's a cruel presumption, young man. Well, maybe it was Tessa's idea initially. But I supported it. You should have. And your mother was happy to live off our handouts. You tried to burn down our barn and knocked Tyler unconscious. I never meant to hurt anybody. You weren't supposed to be home. Doesn't excuse the fact that you didn't even stop to help. What do you want me to say? I panicked. I was terrified that this whole thing was going to blow up in my face. I had to do something. You were here that night. You saw Marianne and Tyler. Why didn't you help? I know it wasn't my best moment, but she threatened my life. So you just decided to let her drown? I didn't decide anything. Everything happened so fast, I panicked. And by the time I got to town, Brown was already on his way out. There was nothing else I could do. So what do we do now? We tell him he's got to fix the mess he made, one way or another.
You failed us, Tom. You need to make it right. I'll do whatever you want. As long as none of this gets out. Excuse me? You want me to pay for my mistakes? Fine. But please, Tessa can't know. This would kill her. Tessa already knows, Tom. No. That's... That's impossible. It never occurred to you the reason Tessa cut Marianne off was you? Uh, I... But she... She never said anything. Oh, Lord. You should try talking to your wife. Maybe if you had, we wouldn't be in this situation. And maybe Marianne wouldn't be dead. Oh, come on. You of all people should appreciate how troubled Marianne was. She was unhinged. Something like this would have happened sooner or later. That was convenient for you, huh? You preyed on her because she was vulnerable. And you knew you could always blame it on crazy Marianne Ronan if you got caught. It was nothing like that. Nothing at all. Your mother was... What? A very pretty woman. And she'd been so many places and done so many things. The way I always thought I would have. I got caught up. Love made me a fool. Look, I made mistakes. But this will not go any further than the three of us. Why? We know. Tessa knows. Marianne's dead. There's no point in hiding it anymore. He's afraid it'll tank his campaign. Am I wrong? Jesus, Tom. I've kept your secret all these years. I don't want to go spilling it. But I will if I have to. What? Yeah. Your little story about self-defense. I've never told anyone how Mary Ann really died. I already told. That night, I came out here because I was worried about your mother. It's so weird because it, he was the last person on my mind. Wow.
No. No way. You're a fucking liar. I saw what I saw. Ugh! You're manipulating us just like you manipulated her. Tyler! You're not listening to this, are you? Be smart about this, Allison. Are you sure you want this to get out? You've got way more here to lose than he does. His name will be all but clear, but you... You'll be a killer. What will your uncle say? I already told him. And Michael? Hmm? Well, the whole town might turn on you. Don't touch her. <clears throat> you know I'm right. Just get out of here, Tom. Tyler and I need to talk alone. Just please. Think twice before making any rash decisions. There are a whole lot of lives at stake here. Leave us the fuck alone. And never come back! It's so uh, he could have fucking ran out there and saved her. She drowned. It wasn't the stab wound, it was drowning. He could have gone out there and saved, but he ran. Allie, you okay? He didn't let that asshole get to you, did you? Did you? What if he's right? I've been having all of these nightmares about that night. And they were a lot like how Tom said. And now, when I try to remember, that's all I can see. He's trying to mess with your head, and you're letting it work. No, it's more than that. Ever since we started digging, I... I haven't been able to shake this feeling like something's off. Something's off because he put this in your head? Don't let him get away with it. He might not be lying. We, we keep getting things mixed up. We remember totally different versions of the past. Those are just details. This isn't that. She was going to kill me. I'm not so sure anymore, Tyler. time you saw the truth. She had a gun pointed at me. She chased me. She said she was going to kill me. She threatened Tom with those exact same words. With the same gun, on the same pier. The thing you said to Eddie the other day got thrown back at me. Don't you think it's possible that happened here too? Oh, man. I guess it's possible. 
fuck. I, I don't know. And we're never gonna know the truth, are we? Because the second you walk away from something, that's it. Yeah. I guess at this point, you just have to decide what you believe. Me? Yeah. You need to start dealing, Allie. And that means coming yeah. to terms with whatever version of the past feels the most true to you. No more running. Whatever you choose, you gotta live with it, okay? You interrupted her in. and we we got confused. Are you sure? Yes. That attic. Tyler, that was meant for us. It was her way of of explaining what she was going through. I made a horrible mistake. <laughs> hey, hey, it's okay. I'm here. no point in being delusional. It's just gonna make you feel worse in the end. Hey, peep what I just found downstairs. What do you think? Will it have aged well, or just gone bad? Well? Where are you at right now? I just keep hearing her say she wasn't going to hurt you. Over and over. We were kids. We freaked out. You weren't equipped to deal with that shit. She was just talking to you. And I... I killed her. Stop. It would have gotten to her sooner or later. I don't want to use our voice again. Ever. What? Seriously? I don't know. But I want to stop feeling like this. And I think we'll be better off without it. This morning, I kept getting these horrible visions. Of you and Marianne and Eddie. Visions? Like our memories? Yeah, but, but different. It was all my worst thoughts brought to life. You were in my bedroom saying I abandoned you. Eddie called me a snake. I'm sorry. I should have been there for you. It's okay. I was the one who walked out. I just... I can't let that happen again. I, I don't think it will. Something's been pushing us to find answers. And now we have them. 
Maybe I'm wrong. And if it stays bad, we can stop. But I really want to keep what makes us, us. The Mad Hunter was forced to remain below the lake with the Moon Hag, but she did not kill him, because even reduced to just one hand, he was too useful a servant. Lo, he plotted the day think? he would emerge, brothers and sisters, to once again hunt the wise princess and earn back his left hand. Damn. Always. And that is the story of how the crafty goblins rescued the wise princess from the Mad Hunter. Truths always pain it can always be painful. There can always be a painful truth. Not every story is happy. But trying to block it out and pretend like it it, it happened a different way just to make yourself feel better is not always a good idea. So Boy, I can't wait to see my answers compared to other people. I'm assuming that's the end. Hello? Oh. Oh, six months later. Cut his hair off, huh? One last look. I'm good to go. <whistles> oh, taking control. Hey, it's me. Hey, me. <laughs> House is empty. I'm getting ready to head out. So, last chance. Is there anything you want me to do while I'm in town? Listen, Ty, you're dropping off the keys with Tina, right? Yep, gonna leave them at her office on my way to the ferry. Well, that's it then. How's Juno? Big and full of people, even without tourists. Michael's been writing up rules for the apartment. I need your support against his whole food policy. Just refuse to sign anything until I get there, okay? Okay, but you better hurry. If he gets his way, we'll only have one small shelf for junk food. What? Heresy. I'm gonna need, like, twice that just for snack cakes after my surgery next month. I know, right? <laughs> this cannot stand. How are you? Good, actually. Really good. You? Same. You know, emptying the house really cleared my head out. Thanks for doing that. The observatory really needed me this week. And after everything that happened, I, I just felt like I needed to keep so some pretty. miles between me and Delos Crossing. No worries. You still loving your therapist? Gail, yes. I was actually just doing some letter writing she assigned me as homework. It really helped me get some perspective. That sounds awesome. Uh, did you see the article I sent you about Tom losing the election? Ah, yes. I saw your message right before derby practice, so I didn't have time to read it. But I did cackle at the headline. <laughs> <laughs> did you picture Tom's face whenever you went in for a block? <laughs> no, but that is a great idea. <laughs> Anyways, 
I'm glad Tessa finally left his ass. Karma is a bitch. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna hang up now. See you tonight. Okay. I'm gonna take one last walk through the house and then head to the ferry. Drive safe. Uh, pretty sure that's the only way possible in the old Allison mobile. Love you, Tyler. Love you. Um, I'm sorry we're leaving you alone out here. Bye, Leo. <sighs> it's so pretty. Everything okay, Ty? Actually, yeah. Everything really is. Taking one last look around. Yeah. Time to move on. I don't know what we could possibly see in the house, but might as well take one last look. Goblins out. <laughs> one last look at the house, guys. And then we go start a new life. They did pretty good to get it all. Sucks to suck, Thomas Anthony Fecky. Huh. Well, at least she finally dumped his ass. Oh, we could have almost left them behind. <laughs> hey, goblins. Oh. Uh, a note from Sam. Man, seeing it empty is so weird. But at least it's the last time we'll ever have to. Yeah. Michael, let's see. Must be a relief to finally be done with the place. No doubt. Uh, <sighs> if traffic's, traffic's not too bad, I should be back at the place around four. Haha. Uh -huh. Traffic in Dallas. Only if the mailbox <laughs> bandit escaped. Hey, I'm making that biscuit thing you like. Damn, on my way. I'll probably take out some fire hydrants and stop signs. <laughs> Don't die, I'll keep it warm. See you in a few. <laughs> Wait, why the fuck would you be like, oh yeah, I'm done, and then you just your laptop's just sitting in here? <laughs> Escapes. Wait, they got rid of the fridge, but they left the stove? Shouldn't you 
got rid of the stove also. Alright. One more look upstairs. Goodbye room. Goodbye room. Goodbye man on, man the, on the moon. <laughs> For posterity. Certainly hope the new owners are Mr. or Mrs. Fixit. There's a paper airplane up there. Well, can't reach it from here. Oh man, look at that view. Like, <sighs> gonna miss this. Yeah, I would too. One more jog down memory lane, Mr. Ronan. Hey, I'm having a private moment with me, myself, and I here. <laughs> okay, carry on. All right. I hope the next goblin family. Bakes a lot of sand pies in this. Close the... Wait. Wait. I should have probably run these by his place. Or just drop them off at Bernie's. We can't check out that? Yeah. Well, can I grab the box of supplies? I should have probably run these by his place. Or just drop them off at Bernie. It's too bad Tessa closed her cafe. That other place just doesn't quite hit the spot. I went to every room. Man, so... If you just left, you would have left pictures and you would well, have left your laptop. This is goodbye for real, I guess. Damn. <laughs> Forget your laptops in, in, in there, I guess. <laughs> hey, Aaron. It's Ty. Tyler Ronan. I, uh, thought I'd catch you on your break between sessions, but I guess you're going long with another rebel with too many causes. <laughs> I, I know I haven't reached out since I left Fireweed, but I just wanted to say, well, you were right about grief, about it going in circles this morning I was out on the porch staring at the fog and my mother she she just tumbled right out of me but it was okay it actually felt good to remember
Anyway, uh, give me a well, call back if you get a chance. I'll see you around. And thank you. Damn. That was, uh, that was pretty intense. All right, now, let's see. Allison was great. Oh, <clears throat> they completed Marianne's puzzle. Allison was influenced by Tom's testimony. I don't think, I don't really think she was out to kill, kill them. Like, I mean, throughout the game, like, at first, yeah. But once you get to the end, it's just like, it sounded like she was having a mental problem. It sounded like she didn't know what to do anymore. And if maybe she took herself out of the picture. Like I had said earlier, the twins trusted their bond and kept their voice. Oh, damn. Eddie was relieved that Allison accepted responsibility in the murder. Feel understood by... Okay. Michael felt closer to Tyler. Alright. Well. Yeah. Ah, there you go. I won't even need to say anything. Because it's right there on the screen. Anyways. Thank you all for watching. I guess this is where... Where we end. This game had a... I feel like had a very good story. Anyways. Thank you all for watching. I'm sorry this episode's a little longer. I knew we were getting towards the end. And cutscenes kind of draw out. And it would have just been silly to make like a five minute episode. Anyway. So. I will catch you guys in the next game. Not next episode. <laughs> Thank you for watching if you made this far. I very much appreciate it. And I'll talk to you later. Take care.